FWP says they've seen some breakthrough in a two year long investigation into illegal walleye fish found in Swan Lake. New evidence shows they weren't born in the lake, which is good news. But as MTN's Nicole Miller reports, many questions are left unanswered, including who put them there. Montana is home to some of the finest sport fisheries in the world, and they generate millions of dollars in revenue each year. But when someone moves live fish from one body of water to another, they put the future of those fisheries in jeopardy. And really harm fisheries, they can hurt recreational opportunities, they can cause the crash of you know, fishery populations. Dylan Tabish with Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks says illegal introductions are a big problem in Montana. The agency reports around 600 confirmed illegal introductions in more than 250 water bodies in Montana. Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks is really trying to combat the spread of illegal introductions. Tabish says after two years of investigating, biologists had a breakthrough in the Swan Lake case by studying the ear bones of the walleye. We have a biologist here who was studying something called an otolith, which is a calcium substance in the ear bones of a fish. And so he studied those walleyes otoliths and that was able to trace where this fish had come from. He says biologists determined the two walleye were originally from Lake Helena. Tabish says learning they weren't born in Swan Lake was good news. That shows that these two fish at least were not born in Swan Lake, which hopefully means that a, a population has not been established yet. It also helps us gain new insight and clues into where these fish came from, which will hopefully lead to finding out the individual or individuals who did this illegal introduction. Tabish says there are different reasons for why someone would introduce illegally. Sometimes uh, it's because they're trying to establish a, a, a new type of sport fishery. So potentially this was someone who wanted to be able to go fish for walleye on Swan Lake. And there's a lot of great walleye fisheries across the region. and. We would like folks to stick to those ones, not creating new ones. Reporting in Big Fork, Nicole Miller, MTN News. A reward upwards of $35,000 is being offered for any information leading to a conviction. If you do, you're asked to call 1-800-TIPMOT.